Hello, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Risings, Venus, anyone with any kind of schmidgen of a Capricorn in their chart. Welcome to another edition of Capricorner. <laughs> welcome, 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 everyone. <clears throat> oh, I picked up the deck and there's one little card on the table. What is it? Ooh. It's the Knight of Staves. Okay. Okay. I like that. So as you know, if you've been kind of keeping up with the channel, I'm recovering from the flu and migraines. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> I'm still recovering. This is the last day of my medication and I can't hear very well. And so I, I actually don't want to scream out everything because I don't know how it's gonna come out. So um, thank you for all of the well wishes and everyone saying get better and all of the little tips and tricks. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys. Thank you immensely for the good photons because that's what I, I, and thank you as well for the, for the donations. Thank you very, very, very much for all of the good karma donations. I really, really appreciate that as well. I do appreciate the, um, the, the good photons quite a bit more. The energy, the healing energy, and the, the well wishes, the good vibes. Okay, though, that's, that's, like, that's like the gold for me. So thank you to everyone sending me the good energy, okay? So for this... Capricorner edition. I picked up this um, <clears throat> I've never smelled it before so I don't know what it is. It might be some sort of chocolate but like very um, sort of unrefined uh, like block of chocolate with like little crystals and you know sort of bitter <coughs> excuse me um i think that's what i smell and also remember that my it's, it's, something can be the flu which i have and some and something could be the download so i'm kind of like you know so i'm, I'm gonna be have heavily heavily relying on my guides especially to help me with this so I got that and they also told me to ask of it the very specific question of uh, what next big shift can the Capricorn expect next okay so that's what we're asking we're asking what's the next big significant shift that we can expect and this feels like something that's going to take our attention you know, like what the next thing is that's going to be taking our attention. So I just cut the deck in two thirds and here we go for the first layer. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the seven of cups. We have the queen of wands and we have the strength card. What's even behind that? Oh, I knew it. I knew it, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Cups. Okay. Wow. You've been praying for the truth to come out, huh? I feel like you've been holding on forever and a day, Capricorn. <clears throat> okay, the first layer is down. I'm about to do our overlay and I'm going to be using, this is my first time using this deck. This is a new deck that I just got a very, very wonderful gift. Um, this is the Mystic Fairy Tarot for anyone interested. Okay. I feel some magic afoot here. 
there does feel like there's this element of divine timing and divine everything actually everything about this is quite divine for some of you this has to do with children in some way shape or form you know it's some sort of custody battle a legal battle um, for some of you this is the truth of of your childhood of something you've had that happened in the past what are they getting with this children there's something here, hold on. For the most of you, for the majority of you, this has to do with your inner child. And there's something that's going to move forward that has to do with either a dream that you've had since you were a child or to sort of vindicate that inner child. Wow. Okay, I just cut this deck in two thirds. And here we go. Second layer. Wow. Wow. Wow, Capricorn, wow. Bottom of this deck, we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Five of Swords, and then we have the Knight of Swords. Wow. so sorry that's so annoying okay here's something interesting is what how did I miss that I missed let me show you what I totally just missed so on the bottom of this deck we have the seven of cups <laughs> the queen of wands okay this is a little bit of a um, like, we don't really trust this one. We don't really trust this particular Queen of Wands. Because I feel like this is a person who has been obfuscating the truth. I feel like this is sort of a troublemaker who's been keeping things hazy, who's actually been taking action and working actively to um, <clears throat> keep the truth out of the light. Keeping you confused. Could be someone very attractive, could be someone clever though, they're clever, okay? Strength, look what I missed, the wheel of fortune. And then there's that ace of swords and that knight of cups. Ooh, and that four of staves, the king of pentacles behind that. Okay. So when I got these three at the bottom of this deck, this is like absolute, this is like war. <laughs> like whoever is acting so against you, Capricorn, they just like, they hate you. <laughs> Can't even say that without smiling because it's just like, mm, you know. Yeah, they don't like you. They don't want you to have clarity they don't want you to succeed they don't want you to win okay this is i feel like they've been working they've been doing this i feel like their main they're showing me a gun oh their bullets their main the main way that they're that they're taking you down that they've been trying to take you down this whole time has been through words Oh, the bullet, metal, steel, and then all the sword energy here. Okay. Oh, this is such a cool card, though. Look at how her headdress is a, like a freaking crow. 
That little Knight of Swords fairy. There could, yeah, she could be hidden in plain sight, okay, for some of you. Try to turn you against yourself as well. This is someone who was, I'm not sure you got that part about hidden in plain sight. Person could have been disguised with that headdress, that beautiful headdress. This person could have been someone that was supposed to be like a mentor, someone that you can trust, someone whose opinions, you know, um, <clears throat> actual thoughts were supposed to have weight with you or supposed to um, give you a sort of advantage in some way, shape, or form. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And they, they used it, they actually weaponized your trust in them, is what they told me. Yes, this person took your trust and turned it against you, turned, weaponized it to hurt you. To get you to think that you can't do something or you shouldn't do something. Basically, whatever they told you, the exact opposite is what you should believe. Because we have the Five of Swords right here. This is, um, I really like this Five of Swords in this deck because they don't even look like they're fighting. It's really deceptive. Look at, they're just like having a disagreement, right? No. <laughs> messed up so I feel like you Capricorn have sort of been more in this sort of nine of swords energy not quite that bad because I feel like you sort of already I feel like you feel them I feel like you feel this you know not all that glitters is gold you know oh I'm a queen of wands and I'm on it I want to help you and you know let's do it this way let's do it my way or whatever whatever and I feel like you're the one Capricorn who has been holding on to all of your dreams and all of your, your goals, I should say. Holding on, holding on, holding on to your wheel of fortune. You're sticking to your own integrity. You know what stability really truly looks like to you. And you know what it feels like because you've imagined it. You know, and with this Knight of Cups, I feel like there is something coming towards you. I feel like this, this Knight has something to say, has something to get off their chest. Whoa. Okay. And then beneath these three cards, these three horrible sword cards, we do have the Sun. <laughs> so I feel like everything that they've been trying to do, this person, or this energy, this energy could be coming to you, finding you through different people, through multiple people, or through one person, through a queen of wands type person, okay? But it will be illuminated. You'll know, and it's not even as important. It's, I feel like you know by now. I feel like by now you know what this is. Or it could be after the eclipse, but I'm like, it's not how I feel. I feel like it feels like, it feels like you know who it is, what they're doing. This reading confirms it for you and that you feel like you can't do anything about it. Like you feel like, oh, I'm stuck. That's not the case. Okay, let's get into the actual reading. Okay, the base of the reading. This is the far past, my dears. Um, <clears throat> this is something that you did to get into the situation. Someone else did to get you into the situation. The, just how things kind of happened or how they kind of played out. We have the Six of Pentacles with the King of Swords. Boom. I feel like this was a conversation 
that you, Capricorn, were being more giving and benevolent. But I feel like they didn't get that from you. I feel like what they got from you was King of Swords, was, um, you know, maybe a little harsh, a little aloof or cruel or um, logical, tactical, selfish, maybe a little bit. The thing with the King of Swords is this is a man, and it doesn't have to be a man. It doesn't have to be a man at all. <coughs> this is just someone... A masculine energy, I'll, I'll say, who they're a person of the mind, Capricorn. So here's the problem with this is that other people are very put off by that. Anyone who has a very rich inner life, like an introvert or a very mental person, um, scholarly type or extremely academic, anyone that goes within themselves and prefers their own company to the company of other people, people don't like that. They just don't. That's just been my experience. They just don't like that. King of Swords is very responsible and knows that. So... That's why usually like in a love reading or, or, you know, the King of Swords will normally not even entertain, like they won't lead someone on because they know that they don't do that. They know that they don't do these, these personal interrelationships. Uh, and so they, they know that they would rather read a book. They know that they would rather <clears throat> solve a puzzle, play a game. Go, go look for the freaking holy grail, you know, something like that. <coughs> you know what I mean? It's just an example. Um, so, <clears throat> so I feel like you, Capricorn, could have made an enemy and not even have known it. On your side, you're just saying, well, I'm, I'm, I am being generous. I'm being very generous. And, you know, I'm, 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 I'm speaking my mind. You thought, Capricorn, that you were being generous to sp just by speaking your mind and sharing your mind with someone else. And this, and someone, I feel like this Queen of Wands, whoever this is, they don't, they don't get it. They just don't. <coughs> they don't understand. And they, they could even have like mental, not like a disorder or anything like that. They could just have some mental, what was that? Mental confusions and mental hangups about their own. You could have triggered someone else's feelings of inadequacy when you shared so much of your mind with them. Okay. Um, okay. So there's the context that sets up this whole thing. Okay. Someone being sort of mentally intimidated by you and not happy about it. Because they actively tried to... Thank you. That's why they brought me back over here. That's why they tried to give you bad advice, which I know that sounds really weird and stupid. Like, if you're talking with the King of Swords, this is the smartest person in the room. Why would you... You know what I'm saying? Saying so. <clears throat> so this person that tried to give you bad advice, it's like, why would you do that? Why would you try to get someone to, like, the King of Swords is the arbiter, the lawyer, the judge, the. Okay. Now, yes, you could have been receiving advice from this person. But I feel like this was actually a conversation between two people. I get that because of this interaction with, with how he's giving them pentacles. And he's not giving more than he can, to that nobleman. I feel like it's a conversation and because you use your king, king of swords energy, 
this will have gone down worse if you're a female because people are, they tweak out. They do not know how to act. They do not know how to respond to a female who's channeling King of Sword energy. <clears throat> okay, Queen of Swords is pretty difficult for people to handle. King of Swords is like, you're an alien. You're an asexual Rubik's Cube. <laughs> okay, so that's why you, you, you tweaked them out and that's why they tried to that's why they've been trying to, that's why it's always, that's been very mental and with words behind your back is because they're like incompetent. <clears throat> okay. It's a far past. So this was a while ago. In the recent past, this is something that you recently did about it or some recent development in this situation. We have the Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. So unfortunate that this beautiful, I look at this beautiful Ace of Pentacles. Doesn't it look so abundant and healthy and pure and good? All that's good and green in this world. It's in the past position and it's with the Two. <coughs> it's with the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you, you haven't been able to, to put one down yet. You haven't been able, or the universe hasn't been able, or someone else in the situation hasn't, some, ooh, no, it's someone else. Someone who could help, someone, uh, someone, an ally has been a little bit busy lately recently like they have the ace of pentacles and they're ready to give it to you they could know about this or not but they they've just been busy they've just asked so if you've been waiting to hear from a friend or something that could be what this is i'll just take these guys the bottom three that could be what this is and beneath that we do have the death card could change things okay that he could be bringing this ace of pentacles it could be ooh, you could have help from um a very well established person a very powerful person um wealthy but more so just very stable and noble that's the key here see the raddiest i swear to god if there's going to be one, it's going to be like the Queen of Wands. She's going to be getting all down and dirty about getting back at people for, you know, stuff. So it could be that to cut through this sort of confusion. And it's what you've been holding out for and waiting for like this entire time. So that King of Pentacles has been busy. But they have your abundance. They have your help. They have your aid. How long has this video been? Okay, I think we're good. We're good on time. Okay. <clears throat> now, the meat of it. Capricorn. We have another Knight of Staves. This is what the card that was down there. And then another Queen of Wands. So... Could this person be coming back and say, I was so confused. I didn't know any better. Sure. Sure she can. Crossing that enter and she'll, this doesn't have to be female. It could be male, female. This person can come in really hot and fast. It could be trying to pressure you to make some kind of a decision about something. But I do see this speed. But something about that doesn't feel right. It feels like it's calculated. Because <sighs> this person, it's, it depends on if you guys are still interacting or not. I feel like you're kind of pulled away or pulling away because of all this tomfoolery over here. Five of Swords, 
Nine of Swords. I feel like you, you kind of, you're like, oh, no, 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 no. You know, Capricorn, I feel like you're like, I don't want to, no, this is not my bag. I'm not dealing with all this crazy, you know, conflict. I'm not going to get my, it's like you saw, I feel like you see it for what this is. I feel like you see it when someone wraps you up into conflict. I mean, they could literally say, um, Natalie, your lips are blue. And if I get all flustered and go, no, they're not, they're red. No, Natalie, your lips are blue. No, they're, they're red. The, the, look, I have it right here. They're red. Can't you see? Mm, they look blue to me. And if who's winning here? The person who gets angry loses first, okay? So if I fluster myself up and get all crazy about proving to the other person the, the right lip color, they won. So I feel like what you are doing or what you've done Capricorn is that you saw that when once you got wise to this because remember you're the king of swords I feel like this is you that you're like bye you I feel like that knight of swords I feel like you just like dipped I'm like okay goodbye <laughs> I don't care what you have or what you could do. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Goodbye. So I, I, that's why I feel, you know, because this person is coming back. So they walked away. You walked away. If they walked away from you, Capricorn, it was totally, um, it was to pull back to reassert power. It was to pull back to show just how smart they are and make you appreciate them kind of a stupid immature thing very immature crossing this energy that queen of wands knight of wands energy we have the three of pentacles and the ten of staves so capricorn what this feels like to me is that they could be coming back again at a time that is extremely calculated could be coming back in order to try and work with you now this this could be a family member where this dynamic just plays out itself like to death <clears throat> this looks like work though it, it really does feel like work related why are they showing me the hot chocolate again Don't let nostalgia get to you. Do what's right for yourself. Put yourself first. Okay, so I feel like this is work with this Three of Pentacles. Mm. Look at that little butterfly with the pentacle. Teamwork makes the dream work. Um, but working with this part, see, it's like they come in and they could come in real dream they're gonna let me put it th they're gonna come in really dramatic okay with all this fire it's like uh, uh, uh. they're gonna come in hot and heavy really dramatic and capricorn you're gonna say nine danka working with you is a freaking burden i can't stand to even talk to you right now let alone work with you for any extended period of time. So in effect, Capricorn, you're dodging a bullet. You want happiness. You want the sun. You want, you know, a little bit more carefree. You want, you want an easy time. You want, you want people to see they didn't get it. They were taking it maybe a little bit condescending that you're, you're gracing them with you know, you're gracing their ears with the benefit of your voice or something. But um, what you had to say was was right. Okay, it was on point. King of Swords just doesn't make any errors like that. Like any mental errors, like it just doesn't happen. 
You were right. Whoever king of could be reversed, Capricorn. <coughs> I'm so sorry. It's so gross. It could be reversed, but I feel like this is you. And I feel like you're the one who... Um, and it's like you knew you were right. So, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you didn't let these this person or these people kind of... Now, they got you a little bit riled up. Because it's like... It's like you you did have this attitude of <clears throat> of an equal give and take. You did arrive with that equality. So that's what actually did you in a little bit is you considered their bullshit. So you were confused a little bit, but then you're like, no, no. I'm right. Okay. So... If you would like to join me in the extended for Capricorner, you guys, I really want to get into this of what the abundance is, this Ace of Pentacles, and then we're going to look at the next thing that we can expect. We're also going to take a look at where you are now, how other people see you in the situation, your hope or fear, the outcome, and the future environment after the outcome of this particular little squabble. <clears throat> okay, Cappies? So I hope that you are well. Take good, good, good care of yourselves for me. I love you guys and we'll talk soon. Bye.